Alrighty. Hi everybody, I'm Vicki. Welcome to Women Who Write. And for those of you who are here for the first time, who are new, we have readings and then we do the Hunger Games. <laughs> no, because we, for that we need a, a couple of 16 year olds. You have, to, you, have, you, you, have to be, you have to be 16 and looking around the room I think we don't have anything to worry about. Okay, no, we're just a little bit older than that. Okay, so sometimes we have to do a little distraction. I woke up this morning and I had no top lids. I mean, no top lids. My eyelashes were shooting out of my eyeballs. So I'm having this allergy issue. And, and then also, you know, the stress. I've been stress eating. So for those of you that have stock in Frito-Lay, thank me. So anyway, so I, you know, black, we know, we know what works for distraction, right? So we do all black and we do the cleavage. I would have to basically be topless today, though, to cover up. I'm trying to hide. So, so I, I gave my eyelashes a perm, and, and I'm going to look perpetually surprised. <laughs> oh, Alan's not here? And, and we'll see how that goes. All right. So, and, you know, I really deserved a good hair day today. You do. You got it. Yeah. I, I, this is mortifying because this started last Monday. So I, I cut out everything that it could possibly be. Right? I, I, I stopped wearing perfume. I stopped wearing makeup. I thought, oh my God, what if it's my makeup? I've been wearing the same makeup for 20 years. If I can't wear makeup, then you'll never see me again. You will never. I actually, I actually had to like go out into the world. I went out into the world for seven days without makeup. It was not. Yeah, it was. It was more. I changed all my lotions. I stopped everything. I rewashed everything in my house. My blankets, my sheets, my clothing in this dye-free stuff and fragrance. I am still itching. I don't know what it is. I, and I don't think it's food because because I because it's my eyes and it's and I'm itchy. So I think it's a chemical. Yes. And so I've decided the only thing left that it could be is water or air. <laughs> this is a problem. I don't. I don't know what or I'm going to do. Huh? Or light. I was going to say it's funny because yeah. my wife woke up with the same thing. We lived down the street. It's it's uh, dreams uh, of pollen. You know, normally men are not allowed to speak or even be here. But no, I have to say, John, you are a welcomed guest. So I have to talk to her. Maybe we can figure out. There's something in La Cañada. There's something going on in our town. There's something going on in our town. All right. Okay, so you didn't you didn't notice that, you folks at home. Okay, so okay. For those of you that had gotten the email and had read all the stuff on Facebook and were here last month, you were expecting today Alan's by Bell. Okay. First of all, before I even go any further, anybody in this room who has not read Lunatics, written by Alan and, and Dave Barry, um, get it now. Alan's gonna be here. In, in April, and um, and uh, and bring it because he'll sign it for you. And I don't know if we're gonna have a book sale here that day or anything, but get it in advance and read it. It's hysterical. They trade off chapters, and and it's it's ridiculous. It's so fun. Okay, so you know, I kind of knew going in. What happens when we book people that work, that are successful? They sometimes get work. Like Fred this morning had. A a big audition. I, I won't talk about it in case it's like quiet, but yeah, he, he was. He, 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 so anyway, and he was on Studio City. I love Studio City. I love that show. And we had Stephen Weber. We love Studio City. So I can't see right now because I'm having that pre-migraine where the the, the light thing. But I took my th I took my stuff. But I hope I can read. And if I can't, um, I'll read it for you. I'll stand here and go like this, and she'll be the voice. So I'll make a lot of expression and look surprised. And Alan's not here. Fine. So um, that's going to be the running joke. Okay. All right. So Alan sent something for us. Just did. Dear Vicky, so sorry I couldn't be there today. As you know, circumstances beyond my control prevented me from doing so. Just know that I am making every effort to be there next month. Love, Alan Zweibel. Mm. I thought it was funny. Also, can you please read the following to Abby Cohn? 
Thank you. Dear Abby, I feel badly that you took the day off to come see me today. I'm not here. I also feel badly that you may not be able to take the day off next month when I am there. Then again, it's sort of weird that someone that I've never met is making me feel so bad. You've really got some nerve. Love, Alan. Can you please read the following? To Sterling, Morita, Nancy, another Nancy, Suzanne, Sandy, Amy, Nikki, Mona, Rana, Elaine, Kelly, still another Nancy, the other Abby, Joanna, Diane, Terry, Juliet, Jackie, Robin, who has a Y and two Bs, Angela, Wendy, Janie, Susan, Andrea, Harriet, Gina, Peggy, L, Lorna, Catherine, Louise, Linda, Tr Tristine, oh, excuse me, it's Dr. Tristan, 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 how is it? Tristan. It's Dr. Tristan. Peggy, Kate, Cheryl, Maggie, Lori, hopefully the last Nancy, Rena, Steph, and the other Harriet. Thank you. Dear, Sterling, Morita, Nancy, another Nancy, Suzanne, Sandy, Amy, Nikki, Moria, Rana, Elaine, Kelly, still another Nancy, the other Abby, Joanna, Diane, Terry, Juliet, Jackie, Robin, who has a Y and two Bs, Angela, Wendy, Janie, Susan, Andrea, Harriet, Gina, Peggy, L, Lorna, Catherine, Louise, Linda, Tristan, oh, excuse me, it's Dr. Tristan, Peggy, Kate, Cheryl, Maggie, Lori, hopefully the last Nancy, Rena, Steph, Marla, and the other Harriet. I hope to see you next month. <laughs> Love, Alan Zweibel. Also, can you please read the following to Fred Stoller? Thank you. Dear Fred, I guess you win because you're going to get to meet Abby Cohn and I'm not. I hope you're well. Love, Alan Zweibel. Deadlines, and a part of the reason why he's not here is because he's working so hard. And he did this and, and got like all of your names. Wait, uh, I have a question. If he had enough time to do that, why isn't he yeah. <laughs> He's actually in New York. Oh. And he was supposed to come out on, you know, to do something. A producer was flying him out, and he was, you know, at the mercy of someone else's schedule, and he's in the middle of rehearsals in New York. And it just, you know, he, I mean, well, literally, I found this out just a few days ago. He was hoping, and, uh, you know, he was. So, I've known about it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you, got your, you got your one in, you know? So, but we forgive Alan, don't we forgive Alan? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we thrilled to have Fred. Yeah. Yeah. To her employers. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> Did she have next month off? <laughs> the whole month. <laughs> Because you didn't RSVP, but that's the way it goes. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. The only people listening were the ones who RSVP. You said, you know, you said you know, All right, all right. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. But fate lent a hand, and we're blessed. We have Fred. And, you know, I, I, I just have to say that, you know, this is like such a twist of fate because. I think it was about a week ago, Fred posted on his Facebook that he was looking for a place, it was only like a week ago, that he was looking for a place to read his Kindle single, and was there, there a place where he could read it, you know, out loud at a reading? Oh and, and I looked at it, and I actually, I actually wrote to Fred as soon as I, I think it was even before I knew you had, that you were writing that, it, I actually looked, it was, it was last March, <laughs> and asked him to read for us, and he ignored me. Oh, men, nice. men, men ignore me. I have something to make money from. <laughs> this is a good point. This is a lesson I need to learn. That we, many of us, need to learn. So, and, and I reached out to Fred, but then when I saw that on his thread, it was before I knew about Alan, but I reached out to him and I said, okay, well, I definitely want you to do it like April, but, but if Alan can't do it, will you step in? And, you know, on like no notice, he came, and, and in spite of his audition. So we love Fred. Yeah. So okay. So. Who's coming up? All right. So next month we're going to have Alan. We're going to pray that we're going to have Alan. We are also going to have Severin Brown, and he comes from a very musical oh. family. Oh. Yes. I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. And Christina Hogg, who wrote that book about JFK, Judy, yeah, 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 they were yeah. lovers. And oh. Hot. Yeah. And then in May, okay, nailing this guy down.
down to make a commitment was harder than getting to my mother to understand what a Facebook thread is. I have chased this guy. This took about 700 emails, but, but Joey Pantoliano is coming to read. That's right, Joey Pants, Ralphie, Rito, the killer pimp, will be here for us. I don't know, it's the last Tuesday, May. And did I what? Nail. I'll be nailed. Yeah. Well, he's married, but oh, yeah, I, I so yeah, uh, this is my love. Oh, speaking of which, okay, who shaved today? We have men, we shave, right? No, I've decided, no. From now on, there'll be no shaving, and there'll be granny pantle, panties and rip socks, because I give myself a kinahara. And for those of you who don't know what a kinahara is, when I prepare for the men, what do I get? Nothing. I get bupkis. I know. Nothing. I haven't been on a date in a year and a half. This is a... It's not right. And so I said, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You know, I distract. I wear the cleavage. What's wrong? It's my attitude. It's a crap attitude. I scare men. I scare, I'm scary, right? I'm kind of scary. I know Fred's going there. Very scary. Okay, so... With... With... Oh, with... 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 With, with Joey... Pants is also going to be Liz Winstead. Oh, she created the Daily Show. This is this is class, women. This is class. And then I'm calling Larry Miller on the phone on Friday to remind him. It looks like we have Larry Miller in June. And I'm also talking to Brad Hall. And I just started talking to Jeffrey Tambor. We're getting closer to Larry. We're getting closer. Anyway, and Gary. We want Gary. Okay, so so. Albert. So uh, that's all I got to say on that subject. <laughs> wow. Well, there. Shoot. Okay. Okay. So